now the next is that we are covering are the indicators so what are the indicators please note that these indicators are created using some mathematical formula from the examination perspective we do not have to worry about what are the formulas but we need to be aware about how to analyze this type of indicators there are different type of indicators one is a price based indicator price based indicator means that it will be created on the basis of the prices as an example moving average line so you can take 20 day moving average you can take 50 day 60 day moving average so the average is based on the average price of the past 60 days of the stock okay then you have a bollinger band you create a band around the moving average then there are oscillators these oscillators have complex formula mathematical formula and from that we try to find out how the stock price is moving so this if there are rate of change of change oscillator relative strength index okay moving average conversion divergence or macd it is called as macd 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 and stochastic oscillator so these are the uh, oscillators indicator and then there are also your non price indicator so you we have some non price based indicator so put call ratio volatility index margin that will cover it once we cover this uh, moving average line etc so if you see over here this is a chart pattern and the red line if you see it is denoting the simple moving average on the close 20 day so it is comma 20 means this red is your 20 day moving average blue is your 60 day moving average okay so see this red is more fluctuating blue is less fluctuating why because it is on a higher number of days right so it will be smoother okay but the red one is fluctuating now many analysts what they say is this cross over this cutting okay so what is so there are two type of cross one is called as golden cross and another is called as dead cross so a golden cross is when this red line is crossing the blue line from below so if you see here this point okay so what we can do is so if you see this point okay the red is closing a uh, crossing the blue from below it means that after this point is observed we'll find that the stock price will increase see this this is a, a breaking and let's say this is a point the stock price will increase after this okay and this is a uh, moving moving and until here okay if you see at this point the red line that is a short term moving average is crossing the a uh, long term moving average from above and this is called as your dead cross so this is your dead cross and this is called your golden cross so after this is observed the stock prices will be decreasing so if you see this is the point okay and the stock price have decreased after that so please remember that in case of moving average line we see the crossover of a lesser days and the longer days so if lesser days cross from below okay which is called as a golden cross stock price will increase if it cross from above stock price will decrease okay then the next is your bollinger band in a bollinger band what we do is okay we create a moving average so if you see that this blue line is a moving average it's a exponential moving average on 60 days okay and what we do is we create a bollinger band on this 60 day moving average and we take this two standard deviation it means that okay this higher value this is your band actually this band it is two standard deviation above this and also it is the lower is two standard deviation below okay so this band is created now what happens is this band is very useful it says that the stock prices if it goes if it goes up to the top if you see that the stock prices has reached the higher bollinger band okay if it is reaching the higher bollinger band it means that the stock price has to decrease and if the stock price is reaches the lower band it has to increase okay so you can see that the prices are within the band most of the time some of the time they go out okay so some of the time they go out but they quickly reverses they quickly comes within the band so bollinger band are a very very useful analysis tool wherein if it hits hit, hits the Uh, top of the band it will decrease if it hits the bottom it will increase 
okay then the next are your oscillators so first oscillator that we have is the rate of change oscillator okay please note that we don't have to worry about the uh, formula for the rate of change oscillator okay now the this rate of change of uh, change oscillator it is a momentum oscillator now why it is called as a momentum oscillator it is known as a momentum oscillator why because what we say is see please remember that for a roc this zero point is taken okay so whenever the rate of change oscillator it crosses from below to above from below zero to above zero it crosses people say that the stock price will increase or the it will the trend will be up so the point to be noted in roc is that if from below zero it crosses zero and increases the price will increase okay if from above zero it comes to below zero the price is going to decrease so if you see this this point okay so what we say is this is crossing the zero okay so it is crossing the zero from above it means that the price is going to decrease okay so that is the idea so rate of change oscillator can also be created using 100 also so wherein it is from 100 and if it is crossing below 100 from below 100 it will increase if it is crossing above 100 to below 100 it will decrease okay so in the book they have given one toyota example wherein they it is decreasing okay then you have a relative strength index please note that this is a oscillator there is one more relative strength okay which this is not captured over that relative strength it is considering the price of one stock with the price of other stock and you plot so you know that which is performing better however this relative strength index is a is a oscillator here in for the from our point of view we are interested in two points see these values 30 and 70 okay please note that for a rsi you have to remember this 30 and 70 value okay when the rsi hits 70 it means that the stock prices are overvalued okay whereas in it if it hits 30 it means that it is undervalued so it means that uh, from when the stock has hit uh, when the rsi is 30 the expectation is that the stock price will increase when the rsi is around 70 it means that the stock price will decrease so that is the idea so please note that if you see this okay right so this rsi see it has hit 70 it is hit the top it is going to decrease see here if you see it has hit 70 and the expectation it it will decrease you can see that here it is hit 30 and the expectation is that it will increase so rsi indicators are oscillators are used to understand when the price will increase decrease please note that people they also take it is not that always it will be when it is above or 70 it will decrease but people also try to come up with the trend in this rsi see this they can draw like this kind of pattern this kind of pattern and usually rsi has to be know that all these oscillators should not be taken alone it has to be combined with some other pattern like your head and shoulder support resistance like that it should be combined with them